This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get high quality premium 3D models for free and also join a community that would help you hone your skill. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Marmoset Tool Bag has just released the official first drop and this deals with smart materials and also smart mask and a couple of textures and some goodies that you can now get when working with Marmoset Tool Bag 4. So for those who haven't seen this, there's going to be a link in the description that will take you over to a couple of videos I've made about Marmoset Tool Bag. And if you would like to get this, you can actually come through and get Mamoset for free for 30 days. Try this one out and see how you can use Mamoset to get the most out of whatever rendering that you want to make. So with this said, we're going to dive directly into Mamoset 4 and take a look at some of these updates so that you guys can see what and what you can get and also how to work with this. And by the way, this 3D asset that we have here is from Sketchfab. So just in case you also want this, I'm going to put a link in the description for that one as well. So what do we have here? By default, once you open up Mamoset 4, what you'll be getting is this. So how do you see the smart assets, you know, the smart materials and all those beautiful things? How you can see them is by simply going over to window and right there, you need to scroll all the way down to library. So for those who don't know, Mamoset Toolbag now comes with the library. And with this library, you can actually get a huge set of brushes, materials, scenes, skies, smart materials, and also textures. So. How do you now work with these textures and, uh, you know, the smart materials and all this stuff? So how you can work with this is pretty simple. You need to go over to the texture section, which is right here. And from here is where the magic happens. And by the way, if you would like to also preview what you have as smart materials, you can actually preview them here. If you want to see the ones that's just been updated, you can click on this button, which is like the cloud button that takes you all the way to where you get to see the things that are on the cloud and you'll be able to see all of these ones here. To download any of them, all you need to do is just simply double click and they start downloading. The same thing happens for this one, the same thing happens for these, and you get the point. So if you also want to get some smart mask, we've already downloaded almost all of them. So I'm just gonna double click here to get that one happening. If you need some textures, you can also go in, download some of these textures, and once you turn this on, the only thing which you'll be able to see are textures and also materials that are online. If you also want to get some, you know, brushes, you can also do that and you can get a whole, whole lot of things. So how to work with a smart material is exactly how you get to work with smart material when you're working with tools like Quicksell and also Substance Painter. But for sure, Mamoset does have a very tiny, tiny, tiny way to work with this thing. So we'll just simply go through and talk about it. First things first, I do have a couple of materials here. And for us to actually start texturing with this, we need to define a new texture project. So go over to texture, click on new texture project, and you have this one right here. For us to also get a couple of other things right here, we need to go over to the window because we need layers. We need to turn on that layer section and drag this one right here. So I'm just gonna put this right there and I'm going to go back to windows and get the layer settings and drag this right about a point like so. Okay. So now that we have this going, I can create a brand new material like this, click, drag, drop right over here because we want to use this material directly onto this model. And then we can also click on the same material and apply it on the model. So whatever changes that we make within this applies to this one. And what we're going to do now is to explore how the smart mask works and then explore how the smart material works. So just like in every other 3D painting app, we need to create a fill layer. So I'm just going to click on this button, get a fill layer and I will set these all the way to red. I think red is a good color for us to get started with. And then I can click on OK and maybe just add a second one. And probably we're going to change this to let's go yellow or maybe something about this color. I guess this is cool. So we're going to keep it this way. Click on OK to get that there. And then we can click on the mask. Right now we need a dirty fine mask. We can click on it and drop directly on top. And once you do that, you can start seeing that the dirty mask is actually doing something there. So if you also like to make some changes to this, you can click on the depth which you have right here and you can use the intensity slider to play with how you want the intensity of these things to be. So at any point in time, you want to switch these things. Of course, we've already talked about the fact that whenever you see the teardrop, it simply means you can invert these things. So you can also use this to invert stuff. If you want to play with a grungy intensity, you can also do this and you can get some more grunges in there, less grunges, more grunges. And because this is a smart mask, it simply means it comes with a couple of parameters that you can tweak to your own liking. So that is one of those things that you need to keep in mind. And if you want to play with things like the occlusion intensity, you want to play with the crevices intensity, you can always play with these things 
and get the most out of them. Now, at this point, you might probably want to see what the difference with the smart mask and also the smart material is. So we're going to simply just turn this all the way out, go over to the smart material. So unlike the smart mask, for the smart material, you know, it is a material and then it is smart, contrary to just having a simple material like this, okay? Or just having a simple material like this that you can just throw onto your model, contrary to just having basic materials like this, which just gives you little or no parameters to tweak. The smart material gives you a huge set of parameters for you to tweak and get some pretty cool results. So we can actually go with the brass plasma and uh, drop that one right in here. And let's allow that to load up. And just in case, you know, you're working with the layer setting and you're feeling like maybe the layer setting is a little bit too cramped. You don't really like that. You can simply click, drag and reposition this where you want it to be. And once you drop the smart material, one thing which you notice is we now have some sort of a folder looking thing, which comes with a drop down button. So if we click on the drop down button, you now see that we have all of these things and you can now go in and tweak them to your liking. So if we click on the dust, for example, you'd notice that we have a couple of parameters here. If we go right over here, we have a couple of parameters that we can also tweak. You know, you can get some of the things that you want and you can actually explore with all the other materials that you have right here. So once you're done, click on this button, just zip that all the way up, turn this off if you don't want to see it anymore. If you want to replace the material or you want to add a brand new one, you can always add a brand new one like so. And the beautiful thing with all of these things, right, is you can add these materials, the smart materials like we've just called them, and we can go over to the smart mask and we can pick any of the masks that we want. For example, we can get the mod, click, drag and drop. And once we do that, we can start seeing a very nice variation, all right? So if I go ahead and turn all of this off, you can see what we have. And if we turn this on, see what we have now. But then once we turn on the smart mask, we can start doing some uh, pretty lovely things. So we can go over to this part. If we want to have some more grunges, you know, we want to simply get the most out of these things. We can start tweaking this to our own liking. And you can see that this doesn't look bad at all. This doesn't look bad at all, my friends. So this is, you know, this is more like it. So for those who like to test these things out, if you already have Mamoset, or maybe you're thinking about a tool which you can use to start doing your texturing that supports a lot of things and also gives you access to getting some free textures, free materials, free brushes, free scenes, free skies, and also some smart mask and smart materials, then you might probably want to take a look at Mamoset. Currently, Mamoset is available for those who want to get it for 30 days. You can actually get the trial version, play with it, see what it does. And then if you're comfortable with it, you can proceed to purchase. There's a couple of licenses that you might want to take a look at. So if you're you know, an individual and you want to get this perpetually, you can get this for 300. If you are an individual, you want to be on subscription, then you can get this for 14. And for those that are within the academic sector, you can also pay for yearly subscription and then studio members can actually pay for this for a given price. So this is more like it. I'm just going to put a link in the description where you guys can take a look at this and tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Meanwhile, for those who like to test out with the model that we've already talked about, you can simply go over to Sketchfab where you can get tons of free models and you can play with these things. So Sketchfab is an amazing place where you can grab all of these things and you can see that Louis that we have right here is for free, which means that we can download this model, we can play with it, we can tweak it, and you can also get a huge range of free models that you can play with. Something else that the folks at Sketchfab always does is to give weekly or monthly challenges to artists. And this is one way that they're helping artists hone their skill and get better at the craft which they are working on. So right now they do have the portrait from the future challenge which is going on right now. So for you to actually join this, you might want to go over to the link in the description and check it out. And on the other hand, you might also want to take a look at the cool set of prizes that will be available. Terms and conditions apply to these things. So simply take a look at this just in case you want to join this. So this is more like it. For those who like to, you know, come over to Sketchfab, take a look at some of the cool things that's available here. Link is going to be in the description. For those who want to take a look at Mamoset, maybe get a 30 day trial, test these and you can see it's available for Windows and Mac. Link to this is also going to be in the description. So you can do well to check these things out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.